I started with two. Yeah. Two, two. rabbits. And it was something that I had and not I didn't have structure. I didn't have structure. You have, what do you mean? Mortality, they died. I lost so many rabbits. What? That is, the market is, the market for everything. Everything is only there. Everything. Everything. Uh -huh. Hi investors, welcome back to another episode of Rabbit Farming. So here is a young farmer by name Edwin who is ready to share his experience. So stay tuned to the end. So Edwin, take us into details because people want to know about all these details, the inner details, the challenges, and most, the most asked questions is about uh, marketing. So tell us, how did you start all this? Thank you so much. Like you said, my name is Edwin. Uh, I am a young farmer. I have been uh, a passionate rabbit farmer for the last, uh, let's say, one year and two months. And uh, it has been a journey. It has been a journey with mixed uh, reactions, with some good moments, with some bad moments. And uh, I can want to assure you that uh, so is life. Uh, the reason as to why I started rabbit farming or rather why I have this structure like you can see here, this was the initial idea. This was the initial idea and uh, it's funny how this dream came about because a friend of mine uh, approached me uh, with the need of uh, 500 shillings. Yeah. And... Uh, so I asked this friend of mine, what do you have as a, what can you really sell? I don't want to lend you the money. I want like to... Like the exchange. Yes, I want so to have an exchange. still you want to, yes. to retain want, the friendship. I want to retain the friendship because more often you find that uh, when you lend to a friend, chances are they will not pay back because any of your friends, your friends. Yeah. So he had, he told me that uh, he has chicken. By then I had chicken. Okay. And the other option was uh, he had rabbits. So I thought to myself, now that I have chicken, why can't I have rabbit as well? So I, 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 he brought the two, two, he brought me two bags, no, two doors, sorry, two doors. And I, in exchange of what he needed, 500, I ended up giving him 1,000. So that was even a plus for either of us. He got the 1,000, I got the two rabbits. Uh, what what he didn't know and what I didn't know is that um, the rabbits were pregnant. So he didn't know he the didn't rabbits know. were pregnant. He didn't know. Wow. He didn't know. He didn't even know the breeds. Wow. He didn't know anymore they were they were pregnant. So yeah. what happened is that uh, after they or after I bought them, within I think actually three days, they gave birth. What? The three days they gave birth, and uh, I want to uh, start by saying that. Uh, after, or rather, when I bought them, I didn't have this old structure that, that you can see. I had to keep my rabbit inside the house. Inside the house. So that was now when I built this structure. It's the older structure. And I have kept it like a monument. Because this constantly reminds me of uh, the journey that I have been through. So you want to tell us, like you started small. I started with two. Yeah. Two, two. rabbits. And it was something that I had and not... And didn't have structure. I didn't have structure. You have the head too. I didn't have structure. I had to keep them inside the house. Okay. Yes. Wow. And uh, on and on, on and on, we have progressed. Uh, so that was the bad of this empire, the, the bad of this family. Yes. So now, you started... Uh, okay, from the house, take us through. Uh, from the house, I now thought to myself, of course, they're not going to be the house for so long. And the fact that I had given birth, they needed more space. Uh, so I looked for a, a young, a nearby fundi, who is actually one of my neighbors here, came and constructed this. And within two, three days, we were done. There, were, there are five, there are five hatches. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, so five. actually, here, that's where you started now as a serious business now. Well, I would say then it was just a passion. Oh, It was okay. just a passion. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it is out of now that small passion, bore a dream, yes, to what now we actually have today. Now, what made you feel like now I can expand? Uh, rabbits are funny animals, I can say, because uh, in many other villages in Kenya, you will hear that uh, uh, people who are 
people say that uh, huyu amezaa watoto wengi kama panya ama sungura <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's the same <laughs> mm -hmm. so they gave birth very fast and the fact that they gave birth very fast uh, meant that uh, we had to look for more structures because I, like i said a dream was born out of that passion so it is from these five structures that it's good people to note that uh, in anything you don't start high you start small and uh, more often people look at the the end result and they have no idea that uh, the end justifies the means so it means that uh, you need to start from a point then you advance then you progress and then the eventuality is something that you can be happy about now here you are a new farmer yes you have come to rabbits mm. how do you know these rabbits uh their breeds how they're supposed to be fed mm. and how i'm going like to put uh, now this like these five now structures uh how do you go about it because you want to go step by step uh when i bought the two rabbits i didn't know what i didn't know anything about breeds i didn't know anything like anything breed and uh you see again uh, when you engage into something the best thing you can do is uh, even want to grow, even want to learn, and even want to know uh, what is this that I am doing. And uh, even as it being a hobby, how can it make? How can I make it? Especially now this COVID season, whereby we've had to uh, to realize we have to do so much so that we can uh, supplement our sources of income. So when I bought the two rabbits, uh, I didn't know the breed, like I said. So I visited a, 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 a friend of mine who is actually not far from my our home. Yeah. And I I was able to still borrow a leaf about from, the feeding. About actually now the structures. The structure. And uh, the feeding. The feeding. Okay. And how you need to take care of the rabbits because mm -hmm. like any animal, they also have their fair share of uh, challenges and. Uh, do they have like a vaccination? No, because you know, do have they have like a vaccination program? Uh, ideally, they don't have a vaccination uh, program. What we do is that uh, a farmer can create bears. Mm -hmm. uh, like, just like, uh, for instance, the chicken. The chicken, we need to, like, for instance, we have Newcastle, we have Gomboro. So even for rabbits, you need to create your schedule in terms of uh, what vac vaccination you need to give when and uh, what uh, things like even the warming because you also need to be warm. And uh, even things like, for instance, when a mother gives birth, you need to give them what we call fat now or BCP so that they can boost their mm. their 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 other micronutrients. So that because they are they are breastfeeding, so that okay. they can also uh, give you a healthy litter. Okay. Mm. What that thing that, that you felt all happened to you all motivated you, and uh, now you said now I'm going to move from this. I'd come up with a better structure. What's that thing you saw in rabbits and you said, this is the business, here is the kill? Uh, there's something that I didn't mention to our viewers, is that uh, uh, I am not born and raised a farmer. The fact sure. that yeah, the fact that I am born and raised in You don't have that background of farm, fa farming? I, I would say it's very shallow. Ah, uh, the, the normal one. Where you have a cow, just one cow, yes. just because of the milk, of exactly. the sandy milk. Exactly. Not that farming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the idea of uh, farming was born after the onset of COVID-19. It's okay. good to say this, that uh, mm -hmm. uh, you find that some people say that I've been doing rabbits for 10 years, 5 years. Yeah. I'll be very honest with our viewers and say mm -hmm. that uh, I have not done this for a very long time. But again, I cannot regret having indulged into farming okay i started this uh, farming last year on april last april that was so you have like one year one year and uh, like three or four months okay and that is when now covid was setting in and uh, uh we actually didn't know much of what to do what to expect yeah but right now in uh, in june uh, we can uh, we can say that uh, there has been a lot of uh, economic and social impact that is negative as far as COVID is concerned. So it is when I came back to the village. It's good to say that I, I have been a resident of move. Nairobi. Yes, I had to move. Now that things are tough, yeah, I had to move back. And, uh, and it's just, I'd say it's 
It's how it is. It is how it, it is, is, man. Life. And you have to accept yes. it. Yes. Be yourself yes. and say, I have to do this. <laughs> yes. It's a very inspirational story. So keep on uh, viewing and uh, keep on. Uh, you go back to our first video. We, we made another video about all this. But still now we are doing in details because we are documenting this journey. So go on. Uh -huh. uh, it was now when I came to the village. Because this is something people are so much afraid to say. Yeah. That I yeah. was... Young, by, talk to you. They are so much afraid of coming back to the village yes. because they fear the community. Yes. What will people say? I'm back to the village, and I was I was in town. I was doing very well in town. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There is that perception. Ama kuna ile kasumba ya watu kusema maisha yangu imekuwa hapa. Uh -huh. Sababu because life is sure happen. Yeah. They don't have a, a means of retreat. Like I know things have been happening this way. Yeah. But now things, because things are hard, I have to retreat back and now reorganize, restructure, re-engineer your thoughts and the way you do things. So I talk to, want to talk to any person, may it be young, middle-aged, even old, is that uh, when things don't happen our way, mm -hmm. we cannot just stick to the same plan. Wow. The goal that we have has, has engineered us to think or rather to... We are talented in so many ways. Yeah. It doesn't mean because... We are multi-purpose. Yes. It doesn't mean because this doesn't work, mm -hmm. the, other thing, the other things don't work. So I'm speaking to anybody who is watching us. That wherever you are, things might not be uh, going the way probably you they were or you had expected. But there is no harm. Sit down. Speak to yourself. Speak to your inner soul. Can you start something else? Or can you go down? Can you... Start somewhere. Okay. Even if you are wherever, doesn't mean wherever. Mm -hmm. I have, you should not fear to face that which you term as a fear. Face, face it. your fears. Face your fears, guys. Yeah. Face your fears. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the Christian perspective, yeah. When you face your fears, the Lord goes before you. Amen. So you can trust in Him that uh, in that which you indulge yourself to do. Provided you have faith that, Lord, you know, things have been so good on my side. However, uh, things are not turning up well. I mean, you cannot afford to give up. You've come a long way, man. You've sure. come a very long way yeah. to give up. Yeah. Now, before we, we go to the, 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 now, the, the new structure you have over there, the way you expanded, uh, did you feel like, do you had you had like a, a discharge and you felt like I'm giving up? Well, I am sure to any viewers who is watching us, uh, there are good and there are bad days in anything, in any business, whether private or formal sector. There are the days that you would call their black days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, terrible. I would uh, say, for instance, I have had one this this day uh -huh. that uh, as young as I uh, as I was those days, Miliamuka eh? Skumoja, uh -huh. and uh, I don't know. I think that was a. a I don't know how I can call it. It okay. was like it came and uh, swept almost everything that I had. And when I talk of everything, I would mean. What do you mean? Mortality? They died. I lost so many rabbits. What? That is probably what what you may not hear with so many people of what of uh, so many people you will may get tell online. You? This yes. is what will not uh, they will not in fact yes. be aired, yes. but yes. that's what happens. Yes. Uh -huh. Those those parts those parts are edited by the way. Uh -huh. You will not hear someone telling But it telling happens, you. guys. <laughs> yeah, investors. It happens. Be keen on this. Uh -huh. It happens because someone will paint a picture of a very successful Successful's. venture. Yeah. Of how they have not even had to sweat even yeah, once. Yeah, that's why you guys were coming to me and telling me it's a scam. It's a scam. Please explain to us. Yeah. And um, when I had that uh, high mortality, uh -huh. that is when now you go back to the scoreboard. Or rather the drawing board. Can, can you tell us like how many you lost like how many how many rabbits? I lost around uh, forty five rabbits. <gasps> yes, I think I had around fifty something. So losing forty five, that would mean that is almost everything, and that is when you figure out the energy. What? The, the everything you feel like no, this is not my thing. And then, uh, that is now again, uh, like I said, uh, the, the last thing anybody who is alive can do is giving up. The very last thing. Yeah. When you have Keep on pushing. Exists, when you have exhausted uh -huh. all the channels uh -huh. that the Lord has enabled you. Uh -huh. So what I did is I sat down, 
figured out what could be the cause, mm-hmm. how can it be prevented, and uh, I had to restructure myself. I had to start again. Did you go like for a training? Did you go like to internet to search information? Did you like visit a farm? What did you do? Uh, with this modern era of uh, technology, mm-hmm. uh, it's very easy to learn. And uh, so what I would I would say my story. What I did is uh, I went online. Mm-hmm. I did uh, I googled what uh, rabbit uh, sicknesses and illnesses at what stages. Okay. So I had to keep myself. And mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. Uh, I had to visit a friend of mine mm-hmm. who does rabbits in large scale. Okay. So uh, I had to pay. This mm-hmm. is what again people may not yeah. tell you that. Uh, so investors. It's not about everything you just just get like that. It's not that easy. And when someone tells you, come to my farm to learn at a, a train at a fee, just pay because you are going to, to gain a lot. It's all for your advantage. Uh-huh. Very, very true. So you don't get everything so easy. Mm-hmm. Like uh, So some, you had to pay yes, someone, to someone's farm. Someone who has a, a venture of around 5,000 rabbits. 5,000. 5,000. 5, 5,000. 500. Five, 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 zero, zero. Yes. yes. Ah, <laughs> what? Yes, and uh, if you can imagine the energy and the time and the everything that he had put in mm-hmm. to have a farm of mm-hmm. like 5,000, mm-hmm. and then you just walk in and you want like intellectual experience on uh, what they have been mm-hmm. able to, how they have been able to achieve all this, mm-hmm. and you want it for free. I mean, man, uh, it's nothing for free. Was that uh, payment for the train? Was it worth it? I would say it was worth it, it was. 100%. Because uh-huh. again, eh? Uh-huh. You might be moving, but mm-hmm. moving very fast to the wrong direction. Ah. You're moving very fast. Investing in the wrong yes. direction. Yes, uh-huh. investing. And uh, it's also good to hear the stories of people who have gone mm-hmm. before you. Yeah, Not to make the same you mistakes. Not to make mistakes, yeah. exactly. Mm. So I went and I uh, had to be trained on how to take care of rabbits, yeah. what to do when what happens, how to combat these, when to give uh, injections. Ah, and probably, so you do it, you do it on your own. Yes. Now, mm-hmm. from since then, uh, mm-hmm. uh, from the what I learned from uh, the thing that that I went, okay, is that uh, you don't have to inject or you don't have to medicate your rabbits mm-hmm. just because they are sick. Mm-hmm. You do it earlier. Mm-hmm. That is why we have things for like, prevention. Yes, we have things like vaccination. Okay. You don't vaccinate when you are ill. Mm-hmm. You only vaccinate before, before you get ill. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Prevention, uh, Prevention is better, better than, than cure. cure. Yes. That's true. Yes. So guys, that was part one. Right now we are going to where he did the structures and see if that training he went, was it worth it? How, how far is, is the business? And uh, he'll tell us more of uh, the journey from now, from the day one to where he is now. So this still yeah you are breeding stock your stock as an ornamental birds yes, yes which are these birds and why these birds 